So Dokkan has posted the EZA details for the upcoming Int Broly unit. So today we're going to be covering it and see what's up with this Broly if he is the number one TUR in the game now. Of course, Global is a bit slow on posting the English details. So we're just going to cover the translated version and hopefully that works out to be the best. Now I want to cover before the Z Awakening because it's been three years, over three years since this guy's release. So we need to remind ourselves of what he does. He's a planetary destruction or movie boss's lead for three key, 170% attack and defense and 130% HP. And then he raises attack and defense infinitely and immense damage to the enemy. This is already looking really good, especially when the easy it comes. Then uh, I think this is going to be a really good card. Three key and attack and defense 180%, reduces damage received by 18% and chance of performing a critical hit plus 18%. Launches an additional attack that has, a great, that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack with an additional 3 key and launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. Reduces damage received by 18% and chance of performing critical hit plus 18% within the same turn after performing a super attack when there is a pure Saiyans or hyper Saiyans category enemy. This whole kit is like really, really good. The only issue is he, this is like the only part of like the stats that he gets and that just needs to be higher. And like he's actually performing really, really well. And then he has an active skill which can be performed after four super attacks. Hopefully they make it so that the EZA makes it so easy to activate at turn three. Um, it provides six key in attack plus 60% and effective against all types for one turn. So let's have a look at the newly EZA version and uh, see what the upgrades are. So here is the translated details. So they are planetary destruction. So Broly is now a planetary destruction movie boss's lead of 3 key 170%. I knew that was just going to happen. But he greatly raises attack infinitely and raises defense. Unfortunately, they didn't give him both greatly raise attack and defense. But that's still great regardless. Uh, then the passive is 3 key and attack defense 260%. Reduces damage received by 26%. And, and chance of performing critical hit plus 26%. So an additional 8% damage reduction in critical hit. Launches an additional attack, there's a high chance of becoming a super attack. Yes, that's great. Uh, we just saw it was a medium, now it's a high. And then an additional attack defense 26% when attacking. It's a small little buff, but still a really good buff regardless, even though it's just only 26%. And then an additional three key and launches an additional attack, there's a great chance of becoming a super attack and reduces damage received by 18%. And chance of performing critical hit plus 18% within the same turn after performing a super attack. When there's a pure Saiyans, hybrid Saiyans, or movie heroes category enemy. This literally like almost covers every single Supreme Magnificent Battles event. Which is really, really cool. Almost. So definitely not a first slot unit though. Because the damage reduction comes after the uh, super attack. And he also gets the attack defense 26% when attacking. Maybe if you raise his defense and up to the point where you can tank with that 26% damage reduction alone then sure, but I, that is a bit unrealistic, I think. Launches an additional super attack, reduces damage received by 15%, and chance of performing critical hit plus 15% within the same turn after performing a super attack when there's a character with the name Goku included in their name. So they got a Goku restriction, which is not bad. Um, of course, with all these Supreme Magnificent Battle events, there's a lot of Gokus that you are fighting, and it's just Goku included in the name, so it includes like the Goku and Frieza, and the Goku and Vegeta duo, so this is not too bad, and I think this is necessarily needed for the Broly team. There's something that he lacks. It's just like a extremely, extremely good team right now, and this is going to help a lot. So those are the Int Broly EZA details. Let me know what you guys think of this Broly. Is he the number one EZA unit? Is the number one TUR in the game right now? Let me know. Some other bits of news, if you haven't logged in onto your global accounts, they got their top grossing rewards. JP got theirs a while back, and you're getting 50 dragon stones. And now it is a little bit different now when it comes to the uh, top grossing, when it comes to global. All we need is three regions to hit the top grossing, and then we'll be getting 50 dragon stones. In the old rule set, um, per region in the worldwide, per region on global, you'd get seven dragon stones. So three regions would have gotten you 21 dragon stones. So it's a big, big buff right there. Um, in the specific worldwide celebration, we're getting, you, you got tech orbs, physical orbs, and you also got character slots as well and celebration summit tickets. So good luck on those summons. And if you're using your dragon stones on Brawly and Goku, 
let me uh good luck on that multi summon last but not least there's new stages for the memorials battles coming out which will get you ex skill orbs for i assume the new goku and the broly and so we don't know anything about them just yet i'm assuming we will uh we should have the data download tomorrow and then maybe the release afterwards i forget if this is on the third or on the second on the third so yeah i think tomorrow we'll have the data download and then the release of the memorial battles as well as the broly um eza event will all drop on the third of september uh depending on your time zone i guess it could technically be second of september but uh that is pretty much it for the doka news today Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Super excited to use this Brawly, actually, and see how it goes. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace.